WTFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks, to your 1 p.m. update. I'm Steve Rhodes filling in for Tommy O'Brien. Right now, we have pretty much flat markets out here. The Dow is up 11 points. No big deal. The S&P is off less than one point. Uh, so flat markets ahead of the uh, Fed uh, release uh, and uh, and uh, uh, conference uh, today. So we'll have some some more feelings as to what the market wants to do after that. Uh, sometimes ahead of these meetings, we have tells in the market, and uh, I've been searching around looking for those tells. I don't see them. So here's what we here's what we do know right now. If we take a look at the Dow, uh, yesterday the Dow tested and rejected its all-time swing point high. That was from April 23rd. It tested the bottom of that swing point, and that's at 26,503. Um, is that a, and, and there was volume if you take a look at the Dow Diamonds behind that move. So price pushing into that swing point with volume. If you take a look at today's move, well, it's actually done that. It's tested that 26,503 or 26,478. So there's the possibility that uh, this is the identification of a, a top, and we will see some type of pullback or retracement uh, in the markets. That That is one. Certainly, look, there's two possibilities Three possibilities, sideways, up or down at this stage. If you take a look at the S&P 500, really the same exact pattern. Price testing the uh, low of the swing point for May Day out there, May 1st. That was at 29.23.36. You tested it. You rejected it. Today, you've been up as high as 29.22. So not a test today. Uh, but again, just a sideways move. But we do have that test and rejection. Now, if price is going to continue to move higher, for example, in the Dow, there's a secondary level of resistance that was set up by where price began its downdraft, its downtrend. And that's up at the highs out here. So the signal, and, and right now the market conditions for the Dow are bullish. The only thing that would change that would be a close be below what I refer to as Stevie's green or red line. In this case here, that's green, 25,987. The fact that it's green is like the green light. It is bullish. The market conditions right now are absolutely bullish. But we don't really care what it is at 102. We want to know what it is at about 352 this afternoon. So you're going to have to stay tuned into uh, TFNN when we can then analyze what the uh, message of the markets is after the uh, interview and the uh, release by the feds. Hey, with regard to the S&P 500, its resistance level, 2937.32, is a number I'd be looking for. Hey, folks, have a great day. Stay tuned. Another great programming show, The Trader's Edge, is up next. Take care.